Hi there, my name is Nick Smart and I'm the developer from the Depths, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial about keyboard based building. Now if during this tutorial or when playing with keyboard based building you decide you don't like it and you want to go back to a system like in Minecraft which uses the mouse, you can. You just need to press F3 and you'll go back to mouse based building. But without further ado I'm going to show you some of the advantages of keyboard based building. So we start building by looking at the vehicle we want to build on and pressing B. A marker will appear which shows you where we're going to build, the big arrow and the little arrow coming out of it um, show you the forward direction and the upward direction of the vehicle, so don't worry too much about them when you've already got a vehicle built. Now there's going to be seven simple rules I'm going to show you and then there's going to be six advanced features and then I'm going to show you what the inventory has to offer. So the first simple rule is that when the marker is green and you left click it will place a block and then it will actually move the build cursor away from the camera. So depending on where your camera is rotating you can build in different directions. So you can do quite intricate things quite fast using that. The second rule is that you can actually press the right mouse button to pull, pull the, cam uh, the build cursor towards the camera. The third rule is that if you, when the cursor is red, if you left click it will remove a block and then it will move the build cursor away from the camera. And the fourth rule, as you might expect, is that when it's red and you right click, it's going to pull that build cursor towards the camera. Um, so that's basically how we get it around. And of course, because it's called keyboard based building, we can press the buttons on the keyboard to move it around as well. So you've got um, Shift, Alt, W, A, S, and D to move this thing around. And again, it moves depending on the way you're um, camera is facing so right now I'm just holding W and it's moving in all sorts of different directions because I'm looking in different directions so that's really handy now that covers how you get this thing into position the second thing is how do you actually um, rotate it so let's select a block from the inventory and I'll show you more about this later um, that whose rotation is actually important so this this wooden beam so if we hold tab we'll see some different options for rotating it there by pressing different buttons and you can see that basically we can rotate it around whilst tab is pressed using W, A, S and D, uh, Q and E. Um, and finally, and this is quite a neat trick, is that G will make it face the rotation you are looking um, just by tapping G. So that's basically all seven of the basic fundamentals of building. Now, now I'm going to show you six advanced techniques. So the first one is very simple. Uh, if you press R, when your cursor is over a block, you will select that block. So you can see that we're actually selecting different things by pressing R. The second one, and this is very handy, is pressing N will create a mirror plane in different um, axes, depending on the way you're looking. Um, so you can actually mirror what you're doing, which is really cool. The third one is that you can look down into an enclosed area like this one, and you can press F to fill it, and that will fill the entire area. Um, the fourth one, and I'm going to select a different block to show you this one, is that holding shift will actually replace a block. And the fifth one is that by pressing P, we can actually shrink all the blocks in the design, and we can go and have a look at what's actually in here. Um, and we can see all sorts of different components throughout the design. There's the engine at the back, some ammo barrels and stuff. So you can get a very good look at what's in a design by pressing P. And the final thing I'm going to show you is that you can actually paint stuff. So press P again to get rid of that. Um, so if you go into the inventory, go into the color picker, select a color, go into color replace mode, and you can start painting. Um, and if whilst, you're, whilst you've got a color selected and you select another block, you'll just start actually placing blocks of that color. Um, so that's all of the advanced features that I'm going to touch on in this simple tutorial. And now I'm just going to show you the inventory and what it has to offer, especially for new players. Um, who want to learn how to play the game. So press E to get into the inventory. Now the inventory has got lots of different tabs down the side on the left hand side um, and they sort of characterize or categorize um, different vehicle, uh, different block types, component types. Now any component that is green you can actually expand and you can um, get multiple different kind of variants or related blocks from there. So for example, if you go into the Air tab, the jet controller shows you lots of different components that you can piece together to make a customizable jet engine. Um, and heli blades, you've got different types of helicopter blades, um, different sizes of simple jet engines. 
um, and a balloon, a balloon deployer and a switch for activating that balloon deployer. So that's what the different coloration means. Red means it's locked and you can win a mission to unlock it. And you also have these guides that you can click on. Now, I really recommend you do click on some of these because, for example, if we click on the jet guide, it will show us step by step how you add these components together to build um, a decent customizable jet engine. Um, and you can read read the blurb and move your mouse over these components to see what they are as well. So um, there's guides for pretty much everything. So you've got guides for um, drills, for example, showing you how you combine components together to make a working drill. Um, and there's the engine going on the back. Now, finally, there's these three green sections down the bottom of the inventory. New object, so where we can select to place a new vehicle or fortress or structure and turrets and things. And then we've got load sub object where we can actually save turrets into here and then load them up on other vehicles, which is really nice. And then you've got prefabs. Now the game comes with loads of prefabs, so um, there's really no reason not to use them. So if I um, come up here and select a prefab, I've just selected a prefabricated drill and I can place an entire drill up here um, and then I can come down here and select a prefab for a very large engine which doesn't quite fit here but it doesn't really matter, it'll place as much of it as possible um, so these things show you basically very quickly how to build different components so there's a laser, just a very little laser, quite weak um, so we can very quickly, and we can save our own prefabs, of course, so you can you can make your own. Um, you can very quickly build stuff um, and get to grips with how the different components work and how they fit together by using the prefab system. So hopefully this tutorial gives you everything you need to know about From the Reps to, um, to get started and start learning about how stuff works and building your own things. So, um, yeah, good luck.